Hi guys, this is Michelle, and I thought today I would show you where I do most of my work. You know, a lot of people are in ministry and you wonder, what do they do? Like, what's going on? Where do they work? And uh, I just thought I'd show you a little piece of behind the scenes today. So here we go. Let's get right in. So here we are, and I know this is a bedroom, but this is where I do my best work in my love seat. So um, this is technically where I sit. It's just a simple love seat chair. It was Pepto Bismol pink. My neighbor gave it to me in Tennessee, and it is my favorite work chair. Uh, next to it is just my little table donated to me by my best friend Sandy or one of my best friends Sandy Her mom passed away and we were she's like a second mom to me So she uh, gave this piece to me and that's where I keep my water or my tea while I'm working And I generally will sit right here This is my office and I just get my computer my uh, apple and I sit and do my work so as you can see it's just me and my laptop right now it's closed and uh there it is hi me so you would wonder maybe like would i do a lot of my work sitting at the computer or some of my work on the piano and to tell you the truth a lot of my work gets done sitting down there's a lot of administration that goes into uh, running a ministry just from the very get-go i like to stay in touch with my supporters anyone who gives so i technically technically typically i typically will spend some time emailing just to see how they're doing and to like see how i can be praying for them and also on my computer i um We'll check some emails, see if any uh, people have responded to videos, and how I can tell them I appreciate them as well. So, okay, what else? So the other thing that I have to do, and today I have to do this and I've been putting it off, is I need to organize my chord charts. I'm getting together this week with a guitar player and some of my chord charts are in Word and some are in Pages. And what I need to do is get them all into Pages because if I get them into Pages, I can bring my iPad um, and just, you know, read the chord charts off of that. It's just a little bit more organized for me. So it's a little bit of an annoyance because Pages is not set up to type chords out. Uh, spell check kicks in when you try to write like D minor. DMN and it'll actually it'll try to change it to something weird um, And so it's a pain in the neck. You got to constantly shut off spell check. I gotta learn how to just shut that off So I'm gonna do those chord charts today. I want to you know organize that a little bit So anyway, this is my you know, this is my office here. My desk is a little messy right now Yeah, this is my place and then also in this room which you might find interesting besides my collection of perfumes given to me over the years I usually just get like once a year I get myself a nice perfume so I could smell nice darling um, I have my humidifier I've gone through about like three of these but I love to breathe it in um, I like this one a lot because it's got a huge tank and I actually could just fill it once a day and it'll last and cool 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 on the side here there's a spot i'll have to take you through this there's a spot where you can open it up and put um can you see this hello where am i there we go you can put your favorite oil in here isn't that cool mm. okay so i'm gonna put that back in and you're probably looking at my head right now <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back in so yeah this is my humidifier i use it for my singing um and then typically in the morning i also put my um throat spray in looking to see if I see that here now I think I left it in my purse but I have the entertainers throat spray and if I'm gonna be homeschooling which I homeschool uh, four days a week I'll wake up in the morning and I will definitely go get that spray I'll spray in my nostrils I'll spray in my throat and then I come out to the living room and uh, homeschool my kids anyway this is my living room and um, let's see this is just typically, you know, where we sit as a family, where we do school. We still haven't painted, but we're gonna paint this year. We're excited. Uh, we do the Dave Ramsey program, so we don't just go doing things. Like, we don't do house projects unless we really have the money. We don't go into debt. So that's why my walls are still not painted because um, sometimes, you know, if we have money to do something special, we'll put it into ministry. This month, we signed Joe up to do yeshiva 
And so we got this video. It's $100 a, a class. And we're going to be buying him all the classes on there so he can get his certificate in Jewish studies. So, And uh, here's my piano. So now you can see my... It's a mess on top. Yuck. Uh, here's Joe's Doombeck. Um, here's my microphone. It's a karaoke mic. I have a good one in the garage, but I don't like to bring it out for just practice. But I hope someday someone will donate... Uh, uh, an SM, I think my cousin said it, SM50 or something, a nicer mic to practice with. And um, right now I have a borrowed karaoke machine from 1980 something, but hoping to get a, an amplifier. But so anyway, this is my piano, which you've seen in some of my videos. It was actually donated to me and it's from Russia. For those of you who like antiques, um, cool thing about this uh, is that it was donated to me by a student whose parents were divorced but got back together after years of being divorced. And they had so much stuff in their house, they had no room for the piano. So they gave it to me because I was their daughter's singing teacher. So kind of has a sweet memory, even though it's, you know, got a lot of bumps and bruises. It means so much to me, the whole sentimentalness of it. So anyway, typically I'll sit here and if I've got a chord chart, you know, I'll put it up on the piano and play something, you know. To heaven, your castle on a cloud, because you are royalty, you'll be honored with a crown. And that's pretty much it. What else is there to tell you? When I go take my break, I get a cup of tea. Um, typically, homeschool takes a lot out of me, so I'll generally do work like this on the, the day that I'm not homeschooling, on a Friday or a Saturday, um, or I will do it at 3 o'clock when my kids go out to um, their violin practice or their dance practice, and I just try to get it all in. So my inspiration, my friend Karen Paparelli homeschooled her kids for so many years and um, there's another girl, uh, Corey Bell, who sings Messianic music and my other friend Shimrit from Zemmer Lavab. They all homeschool and do music full time and they're kind of my mentors through like balancing it all out. And as you know, moms never have a perfect balance but we work on it. And last but not least, I should probably show you where I pray. Um, I pray everywhere but I like to pray here. Someone gave me this rug. I thought it was pretty, you know, I'll just pray here. But I, I can pray anywhere, but I like to pray here because it's got like a, it's like a trunk here I can kind of lean on. So that's about it. So I guess I should end by praying for you. I'm sure there's something else I missed that I do on my computer. Oh, I write blogs on there sometimes. So um, that takes up some time and making videos takes a lot of time. So I gotta do my makeup and put, actually put on nice clothes because I like to just work in sweatpants or whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna close this by praying for you and won't you pray for my ministry? We're just getting done with our Spanish album and we're hoping to ship that out real soon with our outreach worker in Cuba. Now, if you have any questions, just send them my way. I'm hoping we'll be available this year. If you have a need, if you have a wedding or you have an exciting event and you want to bring me out I'm looking forward to being there for you so Father God I thank you Avinu Malkinu for my friends and my supporters and just everyone you've placed in my life and I pray a special blessing on them Lord I pray you make me worthy of the calling I pray that I spend more time here in this spot than I do in any other spot in my home and I thank you that all balance and all good things come from you because your word says that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of heavenly lights. I love you, Lord. I praise you, God. And I thank you for letting me share this part of my life with my friends. I bless you. I thank you, Father God. And I pray anybody watching who's looking to do what they love, that you open up great doors for them and let them take baby steps towards doing the things that you have blessed them with, Lord, every gift and every talent. And I thank you in Yeshua's holy name. Amen. Shalom. You are still